Rising out of the Pacific Ocean, Mauna Loa stands as a symbol of power and resilience. A giant among giants, this shield volcano is one of the largest in the world, covering an area of over 2,035 square miles. Mauna Loa's slopes are dotted with hundreds of vents, each telling the story of its long history of eruptions. But this giant also holds secrets that are still being uncovered, with scientists studying its every move to better understand the inner workings of our planet. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Mauna Loa and uncover the mysteries of one of nature's greatest wonders. Hello guys, welcome back. Volcanoes are among the most interesting elements of planet Earth and evidence of how the tectonic plates have moved over the course of centuries. Interestingly, these giant structures are found on other planets as well. So far, scientists have found them on Mercury, Venus, Mars, and some of the Jukier's moons. The reason for the formation of these structures on other planets is yet to be discovered, but on Earth, volcanoes are typically formed by diverging and converging of tectonic plates. Most volcanoes are found underwater, such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which was formed by the divergence of tectonic plates. In contrast, the Pacific Ring of Fire's volcanoes were formed due to the convergence of tectonic plates. The Ring of Fire is a region around the Pacific Ocean's rim where most of the eruptions and earthquakes occur. It has a horseshoe-like shape that stretches about 40,000 kilometers and is 500 kilometers wide. Pacific coasts of South America, North America, and some islands of the Western Pacific Ocean are included in this belt. Scientists believe that about 350 of the Ring of Fire's volcanoes have been historically active. Four of the largest volcanic eruptions have also occurred in this zone. The western part of the United States also has some areas that are part of the giant Ring of Fire. There are several laboratories that monitor the unrest in these structures and alert the residents timely of the potential dangers. Recently, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has recorded some unrest on Mauna Loa, which now has a yellow or advisory status. The news has made headlines in both the United States and outside it. So, why is it a big deal? What happens when a volcano erupts? Should people living in Hawaii and neighboring countries be worried? Let's find out in this video. Mauna Loa is the largest subaerial volcano, which simply means is the largest volcano on the surface of the Earth. It is a shield volcano aptly named because of its low profile, resembling a warrior's shield lying on the ground. The Mauna Loa was formed by the eruption of highly fluid lava, which travels farther and forms thinner flows than the more viscous lava erupted from stratovolcanoes, which is a type of volcano that is formed by hardened layers of lava. Mauna Loa is part of five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii in the United States of Hawaii, located in the Pacific Ocean. This region is not a part of the Ring of Fire discussed earlier in the video. Scientists have estimated that the volume of Mauna Loa is about 18,000 cubic miles and it features relatively gentle slopes. To put things in perspective, the total height of Mauna Loa, if we take its parts below the sea into account as well, is about the same as Mount Everest. Now that you know a bit about Mauna Loa, I think it is a good time to mention that it is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. It is believed that it has been active for at least 700,000 years and may have emerged above sea level about 400,000 years ago. The magma of this giant structure comes from a Hawaii hotspot, which is also responsible for the creation of the Hawaiian Islands chain. While it is an active volcano, no eruption was observed for at least 40 years. However, things changed a couple of months ago when the observatory monitoring the volcano reported a new eruption. The news took the world by storm, and for the right reasons. To understand why Mauna Loa erupted, you must understand supervolcanoes. Supervolcanoes are structures that have produced at least 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic deposits in a single explosive event. Such events occur when a very large magma chamber full of gas-rich silica magma is emptied in a catastrophic caldera-forming eruption. The destruction produced by these explosions is not local, but rather impacts the entire continent. The even scarier part is it cools the temperature severely for years owing to the release of high volumes of sulfur and ash into the atmosphere. Such volcanoes are considered the most dangerous and some notable examples of them include Yellowstone Caldera in New Mexico and Lake Tapo in New Zealand. Now that the largest volcano on Earth is waking up, it is feared that something massively destructive might be on the horizon. If it happens, it would not be the first time Mauna Loa would disrupt the life around it. Back in 1926 and 1950, the eruption of Mauna Loa destroyed various villages. In fact, the city of Hilo is partly built on the lava that flowed late in the 19th century. 
Considering the potential hazards it poses to the population, Mauna Loa is part of the Decade Volcanoes program. The Decade Volcanoes are the 16 volcanoes identified by the International Association of Volcanology and Chemistry of Earth's Interior. Such programs are designed to study these giant structures by keeping their recent history, potential for eruption, and proximity to population centers into account. As a result, Mauna Loa has been monitored by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory since 1912. A couple of months ago, the same observatory noticed some unrest on the Mauna Loa. The number and intensity of earthquakes under the volcano were observed to rise. Typically, the volcano experienced 5 to 10 earthquakes per day, but by the end of September last year, the number reached 100 per day. Most of the earthquakes were centered in the summit caldera and off to the northwest of the summit. It was also noticed that earthquakes in the northwest were deeper at about 3 to 6 miles and were rather shallow at 3 miles under the summit. Scientists believe that it could be because the new magma is rising up under the flanks of the volcano and might be migrating to the summit area. It is also evident by the inflating of the summit, which is mainly because the land surface has to move outwards for it to accommodate magma flowing towards the summit. For now, it is not clear exactly what has triggered the new eruption. The theories that are being circulated include increased magma in the system or because of critical pressure, because of the gases that come from magma as it rises. Should you be worried? It is natural to be scared of explosions, particularly when it comes from something as giant as the Mauna Loa. Luckily, for now, there is not much to worry about. While the unrest was observed a couple of months ago, it has recently ended without a threatening explosion. Furthermore, unlike many volcanoes, Mauna Loa generally does not produce explosive eruptions that plume ash and shoot gas high into the air. In Mauna Loa, the lave generally rises up to the summit and begins flowing down to the sides of the volcano. According to Andrew Hooper, a professor of geophysics at Leeds University, UK, the lava flow from the Mauna Loa is not life-threatening as one can easily get out of its way. He also says that lava from the recent eruption is going northeast instead of west down, which is the side closest to towns and villages. The lava will have to travel very long in that direction to pose a threat to residents in those areas. While the lava cannot make it to the nearby town, at least for now, it does not necessarily mean that the residents are safe. Volcanic gases erupting from Mauna Loa are rich in sulfur dioxide, which when reacted with moisture produces volcanic fog. It can be a serious problem for residents living downwind, leading to irritation in the eyes and can also cause breathing problems for some people. As for now, the local air index is good, but authorities have warned that it could get worse. So if you live near the Mauna Loa, check the air quality index and precautionary measures to protect yourself. As for those living in far-flung areas, there is nothing to worry about, at least for now. Even if a catastrophic incident were to happen, thanks to the advanced equipment, we would have known it by now. Unlike back in the 19th century, we can now save lives because of advanced monitoring technology and alarm systems. However, despite that, the protection of properties is still a challenge, and we can only hope that the recent eruption does not turn into anything massive. For now, let's just wait and watch what the authorities and the scientists monitoring the giant volcano say about the recent conditions. There's a recent development, so whatever was known until now has been explained in this video. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments down below, and stay connected with the channel to learn more updates. As always, we will see you at the next one.